Welcome back, you guys, to another episode of Tech TLDR today in the SpaceX news episode. And it's a little doom and gloom. We got some good news. We got some bad news. I would say primarily it's good news, though. So we're going to talk about the SN15, the delay, and the upcoming launch dates. We're going to talk about NASA's Artemis contract that got suspended. We're also going to be talking about other SpaceX related news regarding a Falcon 9 launch and the Crew 1 landing that happened just over this weekend. So if you want to know everything, be sure to stick to this entire episode. And drop a like as always, it helps me out tremendously. Let's get right into this. So first here we have a photo of the SN15 from this weekend looking beautiful as ever. Unfortunately, it did not do a test flight like we thought. We're gonna get into that. So NASA and the Artemis program with SpaceX, they actually paused the contract that they have with SpaceX to, for the Artemis for this lunar lander because there was protest from Dynetics and Blue Origin regarding this contract. And the whole argument from both of these companies is that NASA changed essentially the rules of what needed to be done for a lunar lander halfway through this entire proposal. And it's really not NASA's fault. I mean, their budget wasn't enough to support multiple companies to do this, to have a contract that big, especially it's almost $3 billion. They couldn't have multiple companies doing this. The problem is that these companies spent this time and money and resources, blah, 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 to do this when in reality, they just wasn't I guess practical for them to even get to that point what spacex could do this isn't going to stop spacex though i mean this protest i can't really imagine this is going to do anything it's a 100 day protest meaning that the uh, gao government accountability office has 100 days to decide whether or not this holds any true grounds and i believe it's really not going to spacex regardless they're still going to keep testing starships i mean whether they got this contract to begin with or not they have their own plans so this really isn't that much of a bump in a road it's just something to let you guys know about that this blue origin dynetics they're not happy with the outcome so sn15 it did not launch when we thought it was going to a possibility was the weather and we look now at when the next uh, date could be for an actual SN15 Starship launch. Space Operations in Texas, T uh, FAA's TFR website, we can see here that May 4th and May 5th are the only dates. There's none for today, May 3rd. So tomorrow would be the earliest that we can see an actual Starship launch for the SN15. We look on the Cameron County's website and both of those dates do already have road closures. So as of right now, I, there's pretty much nothing else that they need in order to do this actual launch because if you think if you think about what they need they need FAA license they have they need TFR they have road closure they have they already did static fire successfully they put the flight termination system on there pretty sure that's all they need so as long as the weather is looking good for tomorrow in that area and things pan out I think tomorrow or Tuesday Wednesday May 5th is very likely to see a Starship launch I'm really excited to see what the SN15, the changes that they brought along, SpaceX brought. I'm really hoping that we can see a successful landing of these Starships. And regarding more Starship progress, the SN16 is fully stacked now. It's in the high bay. It has its nose cone. So there's only a few more uh, additions they need to make to this Starship now until this thing can get taken out to put its engines installed. Really excited to see the progress on this. This could possibly be out before the SN15 even launches. I don't think it's likely, but it is possible. Just keep that in mind. SpaceX is targeting tomorrow, May 4th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another Falcon 9 launch of another Starlink payload to go into low Earth orbit. That'll be in the Florida air if you want to watch that live. SpaceX always does live streams of their Falcon 9 launches. And really the best news that we have today for SpaceX was over the weekend, they successfully detached the Dragon 1 capsule from the ISS. This had four astronauts on board that had been on there for months. And they successfully did a splashdown, a landing of the Crew-1. All the astronauts safely made it back to Earth. And this was the first time, well, this is an odd statistic for you guys, this is the first time a lander, a United States uh, crew capsule, landed from space at night since the 1960s. That's a good little statistic. You're going you're gonna, to you learn something new today. Anyways, guys. That's all I have for you guys in today's episode. If you enjoyed it, if you want more of the content, be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel and have a good one.